the member for Deakin has the call. Deputy Speaker, this is um, Groundhog Day, quite frankly. The Labor Party, whenever they're desperate, really for 30 years, the catch cry is cuts to Medicare, cuts to health. The reality is quite different to the constant scare campaign that we've heard from Labor for, as I said, 30 years. So for effectively 30 years, the Labor Party has said that we are cutting health, we are cutting Medicare. No wonder the Australian people just don't believe it anymore. Because 10 years ago, the MBS, which forms a very, very crucial part of our health system and health funding, was costing $8 billion. So 10 years ago, it was costing $8 billion. Today, it's costing $20 billion. And in 10 years' time, that will have grown to $34 billion. So for 30 years, effectively, Labor has said we are cutting health expenditure. Yet it keeps rising and rising and rising year on year. What today is all about is an absolutely naked grab to get a headline uh, that Labor views as being a political strength to them, and that is in the health space. But we will never, ever apologise for casting our eye over the health system. $20 billion in MBS alone. That is not our entire health expenditure. But $20 billion in MBS. We will not apologise for casting our eye over every single line item of expenditure and trying to make it as efficient as possible and as fit for purpose as possible. Because any money that we can save uh, and that is reinvested into other more important parts of the health system, surely we can agree in this House is a good thing. The reality of productivity, of efficiency with an ageing population, we will need to squeeze out more services for every single dollar. So how could anybody argue that it would not be wholly responsible for this government to cast our eye over every form of expenditure uh, to see where efficiencies can be found? And importantly, those efficiencies will be reinvested back into the health system. That is something we are committed to. Now, the member for Bowman highlighted earlier that the shadow minister uh, has, if health, for Health has spoken about their time in government and how not all savings that were made in health were reinvested into health. Well, we have a proud record in this side, in this parliament, of making sure that every single dollar is reinvested in some way, shape or form. One great, um, one great legacy of this government that I think will be remembered in time uh, for many, many years to come will be the Medical Research Future Fund. Every single dollar that will be invested into the Medical Research Future Fund will come out of savings in health. And those, uh, that research will be the thing that drives the health outcomes of the future. And yet the Labor Party, the Labor Party uh, was very, very lukewarm on the Medical Research Future Fund. They got dragged there kicking and screaming and ultimately supported it. But it needs money. It needs money. And you must find it somewhere. And importantly, Importantly, uh, it, on this side of the House, we will support the Medical Research Future Fund, make sure they have the capital that it requires to find the cures of the future. Um, this is quite an extraordinary MPI today because it is ill-defined. I'm not even sure that members opposite's heart is really in it. Uh, when, we look at, when we look at the particular issues that they are raising, we have uh, bulk billing for pathology at about 87 per cent. The $500 million being referred to by the Labor Party raised it from about 86 per cent. So we've seen a 1 per cent rise in the bulk billing for these pathology services. And every single dollar subsidised by the government there goes to two large corporate providers. So we've got the Labor Party, um, really with no principles on these issues, uh, just trying to get the headline out there cuts to Medicare, cuts to health. I mean, in an emergency, I know that's what you do. I mean, you go to the playbook in every single emergency, go to the playbook, cuts to health, cuts to education, no matter how tenuous they are. But I don't think the, Austra I don't think the Australian people believe you, because the stat I started with at the top has shown that expenditure in health increases year on year on year. And we will always make sure that we get the best bang for our buck, because we don't have the luxury, like the Labor Party, of coming into office with surpluses, coming into office with 
uh, big amounts of money in the bank. We unfortunately inherit the disaster from the Labor Party, and it's incumbent on us to fix it, and we will. Mm -hmm. the